I'm going to show you how to use Snap Mat in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. So Snap Mat is a feature that takes a picture of your mat with multiple pieces of paper, cardstock, vinyl on it, and uses that to help you place your images you want to cut. So for example, if I have a mat like this with three pieces of cardstock placed on it. I can then go to Cricut Design Space and place all of those using Snap Mat. So here's how I would do that. First, I want to cut three hearts and I want them all different colors. If I have it set up like this, Cricut's automatically going to um, put them all on separate layers and separate mats. I hit make it. That's not what we want. We want them all on the same mat cut from different pieces. So first we're gonna go to layers, or I'm sorry, first we're gonna go to sync. And then we're going to sync them all so they're the same color. Okay, so sync. Now we hit make it. And now you can see they're all on one mat. Now I could just guesstimate since I placed things kind of in corners and move things around but we want to be a little bit more accurate than just guesstimating. So I'm going to click on Snap Mat. And that's going to turn my whole iPad into a camera. And now, this is the difficult part, getting that image centered over your mat and holding it steady. You can start to see some little green lines come into play. Um, so the goal is to get all four green lines on there and then it should snap a picture. Come on. This is showing you real time how, how it's not exact science and sometimes it takes longer. I did find that if I put the mat on the floor, it's easier than having it up on a table and good lighting. So when I was doing this in my craft room where the lighting wasn't as good, it was not working as well. It's not that it's working really well right now. So there, you see that it snapped a picture. So now I'm going to use this. So in the upper right corner, I'm going to hit use. And now it brings my hearts and those pieces that I cut into, um, kind of merges them together. So now I can click on those hearts and move them around so that I could center them more easily. Okay, so now when we hit continue, it's going to connect to my Cricut. And it's going to show me which material I have. And it's going to ask me to load it into my machine, which I'm doing. And then once it's loaded, I can press the go, but I'm going to switch screen so that you can see it happen. Okay, so now this is the cutting of what I did with the snap mat. It's going to have me unload and we will see that I cut out all of my shapes just perfectly in these little scraps of paper. You could do this with scraps of vinyl 
instead of having to place a scrap and then load the mat multiple times, you can place the scraps wherever you need them to be on the mat. Then use snap mat to help locate your pieces. So I hope this helped you to understand the snap mat feature in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. Make sure to like my video, 